Okay, summer is finally here. Day 29. Gotta spend the day preparing the fields for the crops I'm gonna grow. I deliberated way too long on what I'm gonna grow. I thought about blueberries or hops or melons. They're all very good crops, but ultimately I decided to go with a mix because I need to get the community center done. We're definitely going to be doing melons, as my goal is to marry Penny this playthrough, and she loves melons, so if I can gift her melons for a year, maybe she will uh, uh, agree for my proposal. But yeah, we're going to do a mixture of blueberries, tomatoes, hops, flowers, just all the things we need for the community center, so a lot of land preparation is needed. i got to place down these bad boys, because if I lose my one star fruit seed, I'm going to, oh, I'm going to flip. Excuse me, sir, your services are needed over here. There you go, just just take a seat right there. Right right there. The mood is a lot more cheerful in summer because check this out. I thought I failed being able to do the community center, but you only need three of these to do the quality crops bundle, so it doesn't matter I failed to grow all the gold cauliflower. You can see my choice of crops are heavily influenced by what crops I need for the summer crops bundle. And uh, need to do some flowers for the garden bundle, so yeah, that's why we're having a mix this, e this season. I really should be buying and planting these fruit trees so I can get the artisan bundle, but ho hopefully I'll do that in time. That's going to probably be one of the last ones for the greenhouse I get done. As all these items are pretty, uh, a little bit more difficult to get. Well, it was fun having money while it lasted. Unfortunately, I'm trading it all in for copious amounts of assorted seeds. Hopefully I will get the return on this investment. Imagine buying stuff from a store and just running out, holding it over your head. Oh no, I think I've gone terribly wrong. While all, all these crops are nice, uh, check out my energy bar in the corner. It's it's going to take all my energy for, for the whole season to grow these. All the crop watering on day 30 got me really low on energy, so I decided to just throw some just raw eggs up in the sky and munch them. Shells going flying and everything. What a what a mad man. After asserting dominance over those eggs, I had energy enough to do what I do best. Overfishing the beach. Poor tilapia population. It never stood a chance against me. Feeling pity on the tilapia, I decided to move my fishing elsewhere. I found this really cool sword, Neptune's Glaive. Way, way more damage on my steel small sword. Definitely an upgrade. Day 31, I spent clearing trees on the farm as I needed 10,000 gold and 450 wood to upgrade my farmhouse so I can get a nice kitchen and start cooking omelets. Plus, without that tree, I have a nice view of the water now. I also went around town foraging a bunch of forageables. I completed the summer foraging bundle. On day 32 I decided I clearly wasn't having enough energy problems, so I decided to plant all those seeds I got as a reward for the summer foraging bundle. Oh, it's gonna, that's gonna take a lot more energy to water all these crops. While watering my crops I noticed some of these tappers are finally producing oak resin. That is lovely because they are almost always the limiting factor to keg production, and kegs are the king of money in this game. I honestly don't know what I did on day 33. I think this is the clip I saved for it, but uh, I leveled up farming, combat, and mining. So it was a it was a good day 33, I think. Day 34, the hot peppers finally grew. That's good as I'm, I need one of any quality and five gold quality to complete the community center. Good thing most of these crops regrow, so I don't have to keep buying seeds. On day 35, I decided to pay Clint a visit and take all the geodes I've been hoarding up and have them break them open for a bunch of minerals and artifacts I can donate to the museum. It cost me like 800 gold to do this, unfortunately. But it was well worth it as I donated so many... Uh, Items to the museum, I didn't have enough inventory space to uh, collect all my rewards. A lot of paintings, some decorations, a giant teddy bear that I, I like, so that's good. I was going to finish off day 35 in the mines, but then I remembered that the only time to catch a red snapper that I need for the community center is uh, when it rains during summer, so I gotta I got go to the ocean and catch it while I can. Day 36, I finally saved up enough money and wood to upgrade my house. 
But while I was here, I know I realized uh, it probably makes more sense to buy the barn and cows first, as I can at least drink their milk and get some energy. Whereas I can't really cook eggs. Well, I can, but fried eggs don't provide that much energy. So I went with the barn instead. Just gotta find a nice place to put it. Oh, look at this! I, I cleared out a nice tree over here, so they can go here. Hmm, I, oh, I, I think over here works better. That way I have a nice walkway to the water if I so desire. Uh, the cows are gonna, they're gonna love it there. The fortune teller said I had good luck, so I naturally went to the mines on day 37. And she wasn't wrong, I found my first diamond. After I swatted that ghost away, it's mine. After I get rid of the sap, I guess it's better than sap. Started off day 38 fishing, and after a month of barely having to move the fishing bar to catch fish, I hook a fish and, and, and just, just just look at this. How am I supposed to catch something like this? Just juking me out. Just, ugh. After that fish destroyed my self-confidence, I decided to go mining. I reached floor 80 and found a nice sword and a treasure chest, but unfortunately Neptune's glaive is still better. But I think I'll keep this sword just to sell for some extra coin. I went to bed after a long day in the mines, and my uh, hard work paid off. I leveled up to level 5 in mining, got to pick my first profession. I think one extra ore per vein is better than the chance of double gems. For now, anyways. Day 39, I wandered outside and wondered why Robin wasn't working on my barn. And then I realized it was the day of the luau at the beach. Then I realized I had to rush around and find something to donate to the potluck. Hopefully they like these berries. With my sad excuse of a berry plopped into the community stew, I used the opportunity to run around and say hi to everyone. Get that quest for greeting all the people out of the way. And then I realized my mistake. I didn't water my crops before I went to the beach. So now it teleported me back home at uh, 10 p.m. and I have to run around frantically trying to water all my crops before 2 a.m. It is uh, gonna be a mad dash. With an hour left before I pass, I decided to risk it all for that oak resin down there. Will it cost me? I don't think so. It takes less time than I thought to run around the farm. Made it with 50 minutes to spare. The morning of day 40, I was excited to walk outside and see a bunch of my crops have grown. Getting all the tomatoes, hot peppers, and hops. I'm saving the hops to put into kegs and make some pale ale. We'll do a Pam quest and get me loads of money in the process. And then I realized my inventory is full. So I really need to invest in that second backpack upgrade at Pierre's. But not today, as that cost $10,000. Instead, I spent $4,000 on an apple sapling so I can complete the community center this year, maybe. Hopefully. Maybe. Doubt. It's getting tedious watering all my plants every morning, so... Although the beach farm has a lot of space where you can't use sprinklers, this one section over here you can use sprinklers, so I'm going to try to clear as much out as I can. Get a little crop set. Day 41 was a great day. Started out, it was raining, so I'd go to the mines. I just had to harvest all these melons first. Oh, these glorious big pink melons. You're gonna win Penny's heart and make my bank account swole. Before I left the farm for the day, I used all my wood to make preserve jars. And I set them down here, put some melons in, and make some melon jam. Or jelly, I think. It, 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 I don't know the difference. With my barn finally complete, head over to Marnie's to purchase my cows. Just buy four of these and be broke again. Not gonna name them this time, gonna do some random names. With my four precious cows purchased, let's see their names. Peeny, okay. Goatsy, okay. Nilbert, what's it? Nilbert? What is A bra- 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 what? What kind of names are these? Day 41 was a day that just keeps on giving. I finally found a sword better than Neptune's Glaive. You served me well, you trusty sword, but I'm going to reward it by throwing you in the trash. I, I, apparently I can't, so you'll stay a little bit longer. I ended off the productive Day 41 by completing the last bundle in the boiler room, so I can finally get the minecarts repaired and travel around town a lot quicker. Probably one of the most beneficial upgrades. Day 42, the last of my melons grew. For some reason I didn't water those or something, and my blueberries grew. And with my melons finally grown, I decided not to buy more, as uh, I think the extra energy I'll have by not having to water all those crops will outweigh having them in the ground, so... 
I even went back here and destroyed these few plants that were still growing over here. Less less I have to water, the more time I have to fish and mine. I also realized I bought cows, but I did not buy the bucket in which I can milk them. And what is it? One thousand doll? Jesus, that is expensive, Marnie. How's the weather? A lot, a lot fairer than your prices. With the mine carts finally repaired, I can quickly travel from the mines to the bus stop right now outside the farm. Oh, uh, what used to be like a three hour trip is now a half hour trip. Day 43, my corn finally grew. Which is good because I need five golden quality corn for the community center. I only planted eight, but they grow all summer and all fall, so eventually I will amass the five I need. Willie wanted a jade for three times the market price, so while I was running to the beach to give it to him, I stumbled across a just a load of forageables. Still need the extra money when we can get it. After making the delivery, I made it to floor 100 in the mines and got my first star drop. Oh, the extra energy. Oh, that will... We can do so much with that energy. So much farming, tree cutting, etc. While sleeping that night, I dreamt about kegs and oil makers. Deluxe speed grow, even. It was a good night. Oh, I even dreamt about lightning rods, wild seeds, and warp totems. Those will all come in handy. I was so excited with all my new unlocks, I forgot to record day 44. But on day 45, I went to Robin's and finally upgraded my house. I finally have that kitchen and extra space for all my stuff. While exploring the mines, I was Cinderella and found some crystal shoes. I think they look much more lovely than my current Tundra boots. And they're a little bit better statistically, so it's a, it's a given. I'm gonna trash these boots. All this mining finally paid, paid off and I made it to floor 120, the bottom of the mines, and got the skull key. This is the earliest I've ever reached the bottom, and only it's winter of year one before I reach it. Some people can do it in spring, but I'm not that good. On day 46, I decided to have a look at what I have left to do at the community center, make sure I'm still on track, that I can finish it this year, and, well, a lot of these I'm sure I can do by fall, uh, even winter at the latest. There's, uh, the, um, bulletin board bounties. They're, they're remixed, so some of them are pretty challenging, actually. Like, the, the fodder bundle, I can do that, I just need the apples. Fair enough, I'll go get that. The home cook bundle, I have the eggs and milk, I just need to buy the 100 weed off PA, that's... That's doable, but the Foragers bundle, uh, we already passed salmon berry season, so I will not be able to get any more this year, so I need to hope I can find all the blueberries and wild plums in fall to do this bundle. That's gonna be, a uh, hectic, and then the dye bundle, I can, I need to buy a red cabbage, that's usually what holds you up on the non-remix one. I need to hope I find it on the traveling cart, I need to go to the Oasis Desert and get the beet seeds. So I need to donate a bunch of money to unlock the bus. And then the children's bundle, I I don't even know how to get cookies or an ancient doll, so... It's it's not looking good for a year one completion of the community center, but... But I'll do my best. After staring at the menus for way too long and trying to convince myself I can do the community center, I decided to milk my cows for the first time. I also went to Clint's and broke open all my geodes in hopes I can... Donate a bunch more to the museum and get the sewer key, so I can get another star drop. While I'm here, might as well upgrade my tools some more. A month and a half into the playthrough, I finally decided to start trying to warm up Penny to me. I got one heart with her. Only seven more to go before I can ask her to be my girlfriend. I placed a bunch of kegs down and started putting my hops in there. Gonna have some pale ale and get all the money. Robin's hard at work, adding the kitchen. I might as well do this quest while I'm here. Day 47, I finally gave Linus enough random forageable items to get the four heart event where he gives me the recipe for wild bait. It has a 20% chance to have you catch two fish instead of one and improves bite rate over regular bait. It was also Demetrius' birthday, so being the nice pal that I am, I ran to him and gave him a, my best premium egg. He loved it. I think. Or he's just being polite. Day 48 was a weird one. I uh, woke up into a completely different part of the house of where I went to sleep at, so... It took me a while to process it, so, but uh, I finally came to terms with it and moved my teddy bear into my new bedroom. 
tired of never having enough inventory space, I uh, finally bit the bullet, went to Pierre's and uh, gave him all of my 10,000 money to buy the last backpack upgrade. It's, it's a must have, so convenient. Day 49, I completely abandoned the idea that I'm going to use the cows to get milk for omelets and just decided to make cheese out of it. And I place them in the weirdest spot that I'll probably trip over every time I walk by. With my upgraded pickaxe, I decided to spend the rest of the day clearing out these huge rocks around my farm. I need the space for activities. I, I have no idea what's going over here, but and not these rocks. That night I finally made some decent money. Uh, some people can do this by like spring day three, but I just feel good I'm finally raking in the money. Pale ale is it's very profitable. Day 50, I turned in Pierre's Help Wanted quest for their diamond. Easiest 2250 I ever made. I always keep at least one diamond just for that reason, in case anyone wants one. For three times the price. With my newfound riches, I took all my iron bars and my money to Clint. So I had to upgrade my steel axe so I can clear all those uh, tree logs on my one part of my farm that I can actually use sprinklers on. While in town, I visited Robin and spent even more of my money to construct a fish pond. Now, fish ponds aren't the most profitable, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to farm this winter much, so I need some way to generate income. I did something very unusual afterwards and decided to try to make my pond area look a little better with some stepping stone path. I think it will look lovely, eventually, someday, maybe. Day 51 started with me making more kegs and... Wandering around my house deciding where to place them. Very indecisive, but in the end I decided to just put them up against the wall because I have no creativity whatsoever. Also, the weather said it's going to storm tomorrow, so I crafted a bunch of these lightning rods. I'm going to place them outside so I can finally start generating some battery packs. Those will be useful for some endgame items, and they're very hard to get. I spent the rest of the day on the iron levels of the mine, farming iron and the dust sprites. I really want to get the burglar ring as soon as possible, so monsters drop like twice as much loot. Roughly, I think. Day 52, back to the mines I went, but this time not to mine. I'm gonna fish. With my fish pond finally complete, it's time to catch a fish I'm gonna put in there. You can catch lava eels in this uh, pool of lava here. Apparently you can also catch broken CDs, Joja Cola, a bunch of trash. Don't know why they're in there, but I finally got a bite and immediately uh, lost a fish, so, you know. That's, uh, this is gonna take a little bit longer than I thought. To hopefully save my sanity, I went over to Willie's and bought some trout soup and a, uh, uh, a tackle to help me, uh, make my fishing bar a little bit bigger. Any little help is, is very thankful for. With the extra fishing skill and tackle, I... I finally caught it. It still wasn't the easiest, but good golly, I, I have at least one. They'd start reproducing in the fish pond. Never have to catch one again. I was so excited I ran home and yeeted that son of a gun ran to his new home. Hopefully he lights it in there. With that ordeal done and it getting late, I decided to spend the rest of the night clearing out these logs in my one farming area. And then I decided to place these... Uh, this, this wood floor is the market where all the sprinklers are going to go. I'm not spending half my energy every fall day watering crops like I did this summer. Day 53. I had a good chunk of money, so naturally I gave it all to Robin to upgrade my barn. Oh yes, more space for more cows. And I can also get goats that I'll need to do the community center. Okay, I don't want to bore you with menus, but... The biggest goal of year one is to try to do the community center as quick as possible, and uh, progress report time, I need goat cheese, honey, and cloth, and uh, an apple. I think I'll do the, the that, that bundle easily. The quality crops, I need to plant corn and eggplant, corn and eggplant for this bundle too, so we're definitely doing corn and eggplant next season. Pumpkin and yams as well, but that those seem easy. There's only a few bundles I think I'll have to really make a point of emphasis to focus on next season. We got octopus and lava we need to donate. That would be tricky. They're kind of hard to catch as you saw earlier. And none of the none of the other fish though seem to be a problem. We'll catch those all fall. We'll probably have that done. This is just donating money so we should probably start saving up money instead of giving it all to Robin. But uh, 
We need to do that as quickly as possible because some of these bundles require stuff in the desert. Like some cactus fruit. I need to get the cookie somehow. Like those aforementioned cactus fruit and beet over here. That red cabbage, we need to just keep hitting the wander the wandering cart and uh he'll hope they sell it. So that's gonna be fun. Not really. Um it's not looking good to, to do the community center year one. Especially since we need to find all these blackberries and wild plums. Like I know they're not rare, but that's quite a few we need. I decided to get out of the menu zone after I actually play the game, and uh, I got a rare double diamond spawn on the mines. First time seeing two of them so close together. Naturally, I gotta collect them. I was just putting around the house, day 54, trying to restock my pale ale kegs, and uh, my cat cock blocked me from getting that last one, so that's good. Hi, uh, anyone want to adopt a cat? Day 55, my moods were high, my barn finally got upgraded so I can get more cows, maybe a goat. So I wandered down to Marnie's and, of course, she's not working. So why would she work at her own shop? Never to dwell on disappointment, so I went and laid down the sprinklers. Oh, falls would be so much easier with these 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 3, 18 sprinklers. They each water 8 crops, so that's... I hope you did the math for the sprinklers, because I sure didn't. Anyways, the last day of summer. Final harvest of the crops before I let them wilt away and die. I actually remembered to hit up the traveling merchant, see if she had the red cabbage I need. And of course, she does not. She has this rare seed for like the eighth time in a row I've checked. I think they should uh, rename it to common, uncommon seed at worst. Summer is drawing to an end. It was a good season, I think. Very proud of what we've done. Just knocking out these crops. Uh, crops will probably never go here again. So I'll have this area. I can probably pet in the animals if I want. Let them roam around. I think that'll be better for them. Let them stretch their legs. Get some exercise. Maybe it'll boost their morale so they can give me better quality eggs and milk. I think fall is going to be really where we take off. Uh, financially wise, anyways. With those sprinklers watering all those crops, we'll have so much more time to do other things. What those things are going to be, I don't know. We'll probably uh, rush to buy the vault bundle to get the bus unlocked. That way we can travel the Calico Desert, do some Skull Cabin runs, get Iridium more maybe. I'm actually working on making this place look pretty. I uh, outlined this uh, crop area with Stone Path. I, I think it helps add to the aesthetics. There's placey scarecrows here. I think I might need a few more. It'd be a shame if some of these crops in the middle got eaten by crows, but uh, I'll probably forget and not place those extra scarecrows. Gonna hoe up this land. Hopefully it uh, stays nice and tilled, so I'll have to do it again tomorrow, use up all my energy. If you made it this far in the video, first of all, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed this content. Secondly, please, uh, let me, let me, give, give me some feedback, please. I need to know where I can improve, what you like, what you don't like. But, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you next episode where we, uh, tackle the nice fall. Fall's a beautiful season. The foliage, oh, it's gonna be great. But, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Until next time, friends.